Today, industrial structure and types of occupation are changing rapidly. The two main drivers for such a change is globalization and digitalization. The globalization and uh, digitalization have a profound impact on labor workforce. The labor workforce has been changed, the labor market has changed so rapidly that young people are finding very difficult to find, to get a foothold in this labor market. The era of globalization and digitalization is demanding for skills. It demands for skill development. The skills required is enormous. When I say skill, it consists of two types of skills, hard skill as well as soft skills. Now, today the topic that I have decided to speak is on bridging the skills gap. Now, why, what is the skill gap? Skill gap arises or the mismatch, when there is a mismatch between the demand for it and supply of it. So demand from whom? The employer. The employer's expectations and the supply or so the skills possessed by the aspirants, young aspirants who are the job seekers is not matching. There is a mismatch between them. So hence there is a skill gap. So one has to bridge this. Now before knowing how to bridge the skill gaps, let us know the types of skills. Hard skill and soft skill. So what are these hard skills? Hard skill is nothing but a technical knowledge. A technical knowledge which you can acquire through education or some specific training. So hard skills requires a competencies like how to work with machines, how to work with tools, softwares and so on. On the other hand, the soft skills. The soft skills requires, it's nothing but a personal, personality trait. It talks about the personality about a person. How we work in the workplace, how he behaves, his overall habits, how he collaborates with others, teamwork, right? And adaptability, especially in today's changing scenario, the today's situation, the entire world is facing a pandemic situation. How well he adapts himself. Everyone has to change. Everyone has to change. Everyone should acquire skills, especially soft skills. Now, as I told you, both hard skills and soft skills are essential today. Employers are expecting both hard skills and soft skills. It's not enough if you are good in technology. You are good in technology. You are a gold medalist. You have acquired the graduation. Certificate is there. But is that all enough? No. Soft skill is required. Why? If you have technology, you should know how to manage time, how to use this technology and finish within the time period prescribed to you. Digitalized world, we'll say. Digitalized world expects what? To work with the digital, to latest technology, you need the speed of working. You need to communicate. Globalization. Today we talk about globalization. You have clients all over the world. You should know how to communicate with them. Communicate with different sets of people, different culture. So as an employee, you require these skills. Along with technology, you need soft skills like communication skill, teamwork, adaptability, listening skill, leadership skill. When I say leader, one should not mistake that manager or supervisor should have these qualities. Today, every employee at all level requires leadership styles. Leadership skill is essential. You think you are the leader. You communicate to your clients. You communicate with your colleagues. You communicate to your manager. Give him the feedback. Communication skill is important for a leader. So you are a leader. Everyone is, should have this style, leadership style. Now, listing the hard skill gap. What are the skill gaps? the employers find in an employee today is AI, artificial intelligence, which is gaining more importance today, popularity. You must have heard about it, artificial intelligence. Okay? So not only in the field of a, a robot working in a restaurant, serving the food in a restaurant. It's not just that. In everyday, day-to-day -day life, today artificial intelligence is gaining popularity. So one must acquire the knowledge of it, then Scientific computing, 
using certain mathematical tools and techniques, you should know how to compute in a scientific way to solve the complex problems. Blockchain is another at a popular skill which is essential today in business world. Blockchain. Analytical reasoning. You should know how to reason yourself. Analytical, analyze the data available to you using various tools and techniques, statistical techniques. You learn how to analyze and provide the information in a scientific way. Scientific computing is also essential. And same way, the list of, if, if you want me to list, some of the soft skill gap, as I told you, communication, leadership skills, teamwork, then the leadership, uh, listening skills, adaptability, these are few skill gaps which are found today. Now, as I told you, both hard skill as well as soft skill are essential. Employers today are giving more value to soft skills than hard skills. Everybody will possess hard skills, as I told you, through either through education or leaders or, or through some training. But soft skills it is something which is within you. You must develop this. So I uh, want to tell the young people here that you should acquire these skills. You should bridge the gap, the skill gaps, what the employers are expecting today, what the situation is expecting today. Accordingly, you need to acquire those skills. So how to bridge them? The first step is you'll have to identify what are the skills required for the job that I'm seeking, the field that I have chosen, what skills the employers are expecting. First, identify them, list out them. Then see what skills you possess. Do you really match with it? Is there any gap? You'll come to know what are the skill gaps. Then take steps, measures, how to, how to cope up with it, how to bridge with it. Okay. So first thing is to identify the skills that you are lacking. Secondly, match with those skills or say bridge those skills with the requirements. So hard skills. How do you bridge the hard skills, skill gaps in the hard, hard skill gaps? So by attending certain workshops or classes that consist of software knowledge, that gains you software knowledge and things like that. And how do you bridge the soft skills? The soft skills, events like this, you need to organize yourself. Club, clubs, you should form various clubs. Interact with people, know how to organize an event, communication skill, if possible, attain to certain communication classes. Then public speaking is essential because today as globalization requires to contact various people throughout the world, you need that communication skill, which is very important. Yet another soft skill, critical thinking. What is critical thinking? You have to think critically. Today in social media, social network is so vast, is, is so fast that one should know how to think critically the information is provided to you. So information, where, from various sources you get the information. But how far it is true? Which is fake one? Should I rely on that information? One should critically think about it. Right? Hope you got what are the soft skills and hard skills? As young people, today's generation, younger generation, after your graduates, one expects what? Job. If you are not finding a job, I request you all not to get disappointed. Not to get disappointed. Especially today's pandemic situation. You know what the situation is all about. People who are already employed are losing jobs. Unemployment is erupting. Then as a generation today, the graduates, younger graduates, the tension I can feel is, do I get a job? When so many are losing the jobs already, do I get a job is a question mark, isn't it, among all younger generation? Then my solution, my suggestion is to not to get depressed. You become an entrepreneur. You should possess entrepreneurial skill, right? Instead of you going and searching for a job, why don't you use your talent, the knowledge that you have gained, utilize that, become an entrepreneur. You give jobs to people. If it is not possible for you to do individually, as a team, form a team. 
as a team, you can become an entrepreneur. That is the need of the day, the pandemic situation. One should come out of it. Be bold. Do not give it up. Let us find the fight the situation and come out. Let us bridge those skill gaps, what the skills are required today by the employers. Let us bridge them. So bridging the skill gap is the need of the day. By bridging the skill gaps, you empower yourself to become employable, become an employer instead of employee if the situation is not creating jobs for you. You create jobs for people. Thank you all.